you come when you come there you decol you decolonize god decolonize humanity decolonize the messiah decolonize salvation stop selling stop selling religion stop selling hope to the people give people practical solutions buy farms how do you buy a factory and then convert it into a church and people come inside and they're praying for employment buy the factory create jobs then from the money from the factory you can build a church that's common sense we need to deconstruct decolonize the church and we stop being centers centers of embarrassment centers of shame centers of debauchery centers of mischief centers of licentiousness centers of witchcraft centers of perjury and centers of corruption in the name of religion and you don't want it to be spoken about by the way ministers get very touchy they get very touchy they don't want it to be spoken about because you are bringing the body of christ into disarray there's no body of christ that is so rotten and evil like this we need to fix these things as africans because christianity has become a partner of colonialism i'll say it again christianity has become a partner of colonialism why am i saying that because after colonizing colonizing us they were drinking coffee together they never stood to oppose colonialism they were benefiting from it all your cities here have churches that are standing the church right now in africa owns more land than many businesses because they were in harmony with the government may we have some land please they were given land may we have some land they were given land did they even condemn that what they were doing was wrong the church was benefiting even now there are churches that are still benefiting from colonialism I'm not ashamed to say this. Even the church that I come from, my own church is still running on the lines of segregation. Whites worship alone, blacks worship alone. We cannot even unite because of racism. The racism is it biblical? No, it's not biblical. But the church will not stop it because it is founded on the principles of racism and segregation. And now all of a sudden, some other white man from Europe wants to come and run and run a seminar in Britain of how we must manage racism. How can a racist come and teach us how not to become racist? How can a colonizer come and tell us how to decolonize ourselves? How do you have a conversation with yourself as an abuser of the system? Now you want to come and tell people how to manage and tolerate abuse. How can you be so narcissistic as an organization that it becomes so insensitive to the needs of the people that it is a conversation by yourself? You colonize the black people. You abuse the black people. You come around a few days later. You want to help the black people to tolerate and manage the colonialism that you gave to them. Are you okay in your head? When you finish abusing a person, when a person is abused, the most horrible thing you can do after raping someone is say, oh, let me help you to clean up. Please, leave me alone. You've done what you, want to, what you wanted to do. Can you just get away from here? Let me find love and comfort from people that care for me. And I'll clean up my wounds. And when I am finally clean, and I come back to you, and I want to deal with you, you did what you wanted to do, and you walked away. When I come back, and I do to you what I want to do, you don't have the right of telling me what to do and what not to do. This is where colonialism and politics fail to understand. The colonialist came here. The oppressor came here. They took land, raped the women, destroyed the infrastructure, destroyed our culture and everything else. Then they give you a democratic system with a constitution to help you to manage how to repair yourselves. We cannot tolerate that. You have done what you want to do as Europeans. Step aside. Allow us as black people to decide what we want to do with you. You can't be an abuser and be a judge of the same abuse again. Does this make sense, good people? Maybe I'm losing my mind, people. Help me here. Does it make sense? <laughs> you see, life, my, my mind is quite sane. If you come to me and give me a clout, quah, on my face, that's what you want to do. Me, I don't have enough, I don't have energy to waste. We're now in Shapekam Pama, and you are done. Me, I'll just go behind me and take a stone. Because you can never judge how a person you have abused must react to your abuse. 